to me. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game from Mike Conley. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now, this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Kicking off the second half, here's Taylor Jenkins' five. We've got DeAnthony Melton. Kyle Anderson is out there with Clark. Then it's Jones. And it's Tillman in at the five spot. Now here's Jones. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Mark against Pascal. It's stolen by Gobert. And here is Ingles. Passes it to Conley. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And slam Go down by Gobert. Down well, two. the seven-footer Gobert, the alley -oop finish. My goodness, the stifle tower with the score. Anderson outside. Jones for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Jones has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And if you're just joining us, we've played over a minute here in the third. Outside Conley. Now the pass to Ingles. It's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got five assists tonight. I'll tell you, this guy's a tireless competitor. What an answer from distance by Joe Ingles. Clark outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Utah. And the basket by Ingles. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut Time down the middle. Timeout called the Grizzlies. And much beloved in Salt Lake City, the Australian... Joe Ingles is a glue guy for this team. He's much more than that. He's absolutely one of the leaders of this team. He's outspoken on the court. He's not afraid to put an arm around the younger player and be that mentor. He's unselfish. Joe Ingles, simply put, he's a winner. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Adams, he's checked in for Tillman. Jaron Jackson comes in for Brandon Clark. Baines checked in for Anderson. And it's Morant in for Tyus Jones. Here's Bain, Ingles covering. Back to Melton from outside the arc. Rebound, Utah. Ingles got four rebounds now tonight. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Ingles. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Adams, the pass to Bain. Memphis moving it around. Let's it go with a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Melton's got 13. Terrific dime there. Morant realizing his responsibility to share the wealth with his teammates. Jazz leading by 13. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Mitchell outside. Back to Conley. Go up top. Shot clock at three. And it's Desmond Bain Desmond with the five. Bain. That'll be a season foul of the game. And really, these Those are some of the balls. toughest calls an official has to make. And the Jazz making a change here. As Abuki is checked in. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. against Morant. Six to shoot. Conley finds Pascal. Out to Conley. The shot. Offensive rebound. And Adams sends it back.
pass to Bain. Down low. And with that, the Utah yeah. lead is cut down yeah. now to just 11 on the basket from Morant. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Now, here's Ingles. Not a lot of room. Back to Mitchell. Shoots over Melton. The Jazz with another miss. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Adams, the pass to Melton. Pass to Bain. Releases. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Mitchell gets to Conley. Passes to Basket. And slam dunk by Kessel. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And so it's Memphis with it, trailing by 13. Conley against Morant. There's the drive. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Morant's got four this quarter. Now how about the handles from the young fella? Give Morant credit for taking the initiative and capitalizing. For Utah, they've gone a somewhat so far 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Mitchell outside. The pass to Ingles. Here's the three. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got six assists now in the game. Well, Joe Ingles is a tremendously smart basketball player. This guy understands how to set up a defender, get himself into a catch-and-shoot situation where he thrives. Bain passes to Morant. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Just a positive force right now for these guys and though his team has fallen a bit short it's not because of him jazz leading by 11. here's conley as a bookie trying to break free a, a terrific defender and, and jackson one of those guys with great timing when he goes for the shot block and not afraid to send a message as well right sides checked in for utah Ingles passes to Mitchell. Now here's Whiteside. Pass to Ingles. Launches it. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. A, a solid Jackson. distributor. Uh, Jackson is gifted at reading defenses and then being able to spot the open teammate. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Utah. At one point, they led by 16. He gets it in there. Conley's Conley got 20. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Melton passes to Jackson. And he takes Jared it in for the layup Jackson off a very nice feet. And that's now nine points for Jerry Jackson. Jazz leading by nine to the inside. Right side and the jam oh, by right side. Well, that's a beautiful pass by Donovan Mitchell to a ready shooter. And his focus as a distributor has really improved. Morant against Conley. Pass to Bain. In 
to the lane. And there it is for him. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an impressive stop. Well, he's attacking, he's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break, but that has not been the case. Yeah, and something else that served them well are all the turnovers they've caused and the points that have come along with those. Mitchell with it. 18 points for him. From the stripe, they get it back. And the presence on the right side in the paint, really unreal. He is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. Passes it to Melton. There's the pass to Bain. Mitchell against Morant over Mitchell. Good D by Mitchell. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. From the Bengals. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. Royce O'Neal. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Now Morant. 25 points in the game. Out to the wing. Here's Bain. Angles covering. Shot clock at six. Left side Adams. Over white side. And another miss by Memphis. Jazz leading by 10. Now here's Ingles. He's got 12. Mitchell passes to Whiteside. He dishes it to Ingles. Whiteside trying to break free. No good on the shot. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Here's Melton. And the dunk to yeah, finish it off. Oh, beauty. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Utah's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. And here's Clarkson. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. And he drives in. John ja Morant grabs the rebound. Morant's got his fourth rebound in this one. And what a great addition to the second unit up in Salt Lake with the Utah Jazz doors. Jordan Clarkson has really fit right in. Well, he's fit in between the lines, and as importantly, he is so beloved in the locker room. This guy gets along with everybody on the team, and their are tired bonding in the Orlando game, I think, really just allowed him to come out of his shell. Just a genuine guy, and we know chemistry matters. Here's Morant, and that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Checked in for Joe Ingles. Tillman, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Here's Morant. Here's Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. Utah time calls timeout. Time Utah timeout time call. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t-shirt. Let's see it there. Gobert, six points for him. Dishes it to Mitchell. Back to Gobert. 
Nice ball movement by Utah. And then Mitchell at the dunk. Boy, Rudy Gobert, Rudy Gobert usually Gobert. the recipient of that kind of pass. That was nicely done, Rudy. Here's Bain, guarded by O'Neal. Bain passes to Jackson. His contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the That's line. His second personal foul. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over. No, I think Jackson, that's the one thing Junior. every player is Shooting searching one. for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And that one falls for Jackson. So it's the Jazz now. At one point, they led by 16. Mitchell dishes to Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Jackson. 14 points for him. Morant kicks to Melton. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got five rebounds tonight. The try by Mitchell. Pass to Whiteside. And here is O'Neal. Clarkson outside. Down to five on the shot clock. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Jackson with it. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Morant, that's for two. Rebound, Utah. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Again, Mitchell missing. But I love the determination, guys. It's simply not there for him right now. Here's Melton. The Grizzlies with another miss. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Clarkson with the ball. He's picked up by Moran. Clarkson. This guy is more than capable of making that play. Jordan Clarkson confident around the cup. Morant against Mitchell. Pass to Melton. There's 49 seconds left in the third. Here's Tillman. O'Neal with the rebound. Jazz leading by 10. Here's Mitchell. He kicks it to Clarkson. Second shot opportunity, and the layup is good. Clarkson's got four points this quarter. Well, Jordan Clarkson, a nice, efficient look there. Boy, that'll help your percentages. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. The Jazz making a switch here. Pascal's checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Anderson, he's checked in for DeAnthony Melt. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. To the wing on the left. Anderson outside. There's 18 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's Morant. And the shot goes in. Morant's got 27 points. And relentless in his attack, Morant is wearing down the defense, putting up some huge numbers here tonight. And it's Mitchell missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And so it's Utah going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. So with Conley sitting on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. Donovan Mitchell is out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Rudy Gobert. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Pascal in at the four spot. And it's Morant missing. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And contact Memphis on the foul. shot, so he'll be shooting Jaren free throws here. Jackson Jr. That's, That's on Jaron Jackson. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Utah, Eric Pascal. Two shots. Free throw drops for Pascal. And Pascal drops them both. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. A 12-point game. Jackson trying to break free. And that one's good. Right. Morant. Morant's got 29 in the game. Well, the contact can't trip Morant up. He just glides past it and into his shot. The Jazz shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Here's Mitchell driving to the basket. They shoot again. He lays it in. 25 points in the game. Guys, they're just getting out work. I mean, plain and simple. It's got to be more of a collective effort to secure that backboard. Anderson against Mitchell. In the foul yes, called on Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. That is his first That's foul of the game. Mike Godley's checked in for the Jazz. team foul. Check it in for the Jazz. Mike Godley. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And that's going to be too many steps. That's the whistle on the travel. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. The pass to Gobert. Pascal inside. Jackson on him. Pascal's shot is off. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Jazz leading by 12. Pass to Conley. Nice ball movement by Mitchell. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is the that the foul was the called in air. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And, guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. 
Anderson against O'Neill. Anderson passes to Morant. And again, Memphis no good. Jazz leading by 14. Here's O'Neal. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Inside. Here's Anderson. Rebound, Utah. Please leave foul. Well, we've got rebound number Anderson. eight here tonight in the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Jazz have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Anderson with the block. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Back to Jackson. A rebound by the Jam. Memphis foul. He's got nine rebounds now tonight. They have That's been his more third dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this game. Checking in for the Grizzlies. Joe Ingles, who's checked in for O'Neal. Memphis also making some changes. Adams, he's checked in for Tillman. And Conchar subbed in for Jackson. Now, here's Clarkson. Defense right on him. Conley finds Clarkson. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Well, he had the defense's attention, dropping two threes in the first half, but he hasn't made one since. Anderson passes to Concho. Now, Morant. Ingles covering. Payton for three. Good. And a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got five assists tonight. Uh, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Jazz leading by 11. The feed to come. Nice pass. Running to the rack perfectly for the layup. Conley's got 22 points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Morant kicks to Anderson. Pass to Bain. Here's Conshaw. And again, it's Memphis John, with the three. Conshaw. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to get. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Conley, the pass to Clarkson. Good on the triple. He's got 19. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Now, Morant. Here's Bain. Feeds to Adams. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Bain passes to Adams. Can't connect from short range. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Passes to Gobert. Here's Ingles. Conley inside the line. And they'll get another chance. And that's a good job of just getting after it. On Memphis the back ball, ball gets him another possession and allows them to run his second even more personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Jazz, Eric Pascal. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. And Pascal drops them both. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Grizzlies trail by 15. Now here's Jones. Down low. Here's Conchar. Jones the best to Bain. And again, it's Memphis Death with the three. Bain. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Now the pass to Pascal. 
and here is Conley. A shot missing. Good D by Anderson. Here's Conchar. Bengals covering. Jones kicks to Anderson. Here's Conchar. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Utah leading by 12. Here's Pascal. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. A nice shot by Anderson. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Jones against Conley. That one doesn't go. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same, and largely a no-show right here. It's good. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Utah has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Clarkson right side. Kicks to Ingles. Gobert with it. Pass to Clarkson. Gobert trying to get open. Shots good by Clarkson. Clarkson's got 21 in the game. Well, Jordan Clarkson can be a little bit streaky at times, but right now this guy is on fire. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Jones looking for an opening to the left wing. Left side, Anderson. Pass to Concho. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pass goal, the pass to Ingles. Marks it on the wing. There's the three. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Clarkson's got 12 points in just the second hit. Clarkson's gotten four of his seven three-point attempts to drop, really getting it done out there. Jones dishes to Anderson, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Utah leading by 10. Outside Clarkson. And he uses both hands to jam it in. I he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Jones drives in. Two free throws yeah, coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Conley. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies, Tyus Jones taking two shots. First free throw is good. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Melton's checked in. So he gets them both. Utah has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Conley against Jones. Gobert trying to get open. They get the rebound. I said again. Conley's shot is off. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Milton passes to Anderson. And the three off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Clarkson kicks to Ingles. Outside Conley from deep. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Jones. Payton for three. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got four assists in the game. 
After hitting only one from downtown in the first half, he's exploded with three cents. Here's Ingles, and he makes good on the way. 14 points here for Joe Ingles. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Now a timeout called by Memphis. you got to like what Jordan Clarkson has done in this game. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, John Morant. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Mitchell, he's checked in for Jordan Clarkson. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. John Morant comes in for Tyus Jones. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. Thank you, David. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. At one point, they led by 16, and the basket by Ingles. Oh, so see, Joe Ingles doesn't blow you away with physical strength. It's his craftiness that makes him effective, especially scoring through contact. Bain passes to Adams. Out to Morant. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And Jackson throws it down hard. And the flush from Jackson Jr. Great wingspan. And at 6'11", he's got a little nasty in it. Jazz leading by seven. Mitchell passes to Pascal. Let's the three fly, and there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist from Ingle. Mitchell's got 10 points in just the second half. Now, here's Melton. Covered by Mitchell. Adams, right side. Conley against Morant. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jaron Jackson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Heavy incoming. From beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. For three, Mitchell. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number 15 here tonight. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The shot's Draw. good. Right. Now Let's just a five-point jazz lead. No stranger to big moments. Morant wants to be the man to take and make the big shot. Conley, the pass to Gobert. The dish to Mitchell. A shot off that time. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Now Adams. This is at the bay. Takes the three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. One twelve left to play here in the fourth. Mitchell left side. No one near Conley as he lets it go. It's good from long range. Conley's got 25 points in the game. Now here's Melton. And Adams kicks to Morant. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. But it's no good. Conley with it. Defended by Adams. They double team Conley. Gobert the pass to Mitchell. On the wing, Ingles. And 
the rebound by Jaron Jackson. Disappointing day for him. Let's see if they go down with the fight. Well, they definitely have some things to work out, and you would love to see them finish this game the right way. So they foul intentionally. That's his third personal foul. 15 foul. That's a lot for Utah. Mike Bunley taking two shots. free throw is good and that will put them up by nine well the seasoned veteran mike conley has been such a soft-spoken guy but he has also been one of the nba's best leaders both on and off the floor you've got to show composure and he comes through right when the team needs him most they grab their own miss jackson and the rebound paying Jared, off as they pick Jared, up two on the Jared. second chance bucket right there and that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong Number finisher five. in the paint. And that's oh, an intentional foul. That's his second you know, give him credit for still battling him down the stretch, but I think it's too little that's too late. The line for the Jazz. Mike Bradley. Two shots. It's the first one, and that will put them up by nine. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Payton for three. Rebounded by the Jazz. At one point, they led by 16. When they go to the intentional foul. Jaron Jackson Jr. That's his fifth personal foul. The line for the Jazz. Mike Bradley at the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Good on both. Here's Moran. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Mike. The game is flowing for you. What is it like to be on a win streak like this? Uh, well, the game's just back to being easy again. You know, just making the right plays, playing off of the teammates, and guys are uh, just really being unselfish. And it's easy for me to play in that style, and it's fun to be around. You sure look like you're having fun, man. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later.